it's traceable and don't think you can get away with it because you really can't, you can't. The message from a convicted internet troll. Isabella Sawley wants pupils here in Hartlepool to know what happens when you post abusive messages online. What I did was bullying. It was disgusting what I did. Isabella sent threatening tweets, including the phrase, go kill yourself, to the feminist Caroline Criado Perez, who was campaigning to get a woman on a banknote. It resulted in a 12-week prison sentence under the Malicious Communications Act, one of the first convictions of its kind. They were very violent threats. Yeah. What do you think now when you look back at them? It's pathetic that I sent them. Like, why did I have that much anger in myself? Like, I am actually embarrassed. To, I don't even like looking at what I put. I'm really, really embarrassed of what I said, and I'm trying to deal with, obviously, the anger and aggression that the tweets were. The problem is that the kind of insults that might feel like banter in the playground are quite a different matter once they're posted on social media. The message they're trying to get across at this school is that once you put it out there online, you can't take it back. And the consequences can be serious. I know how things like this can be stopped and how you ultimately are responsible for what you put on uh, social network. The fact that she went to prison was quite a shock. I think that was um, quite surprising. I didn't realise that something like that could happen. I realise how uh, my actions can be traced back to me and how they can always be referred to. Internet safety is now part of the curriculum from the age of five. But the Education Select Committee in England is looking at whether schools are doing enough. For young people now, their online life isn't some peripheral sideshow. It's actually an increasingly important part of the way they interact with their peers and an increasingly important part of how they see themselves. And therefore, providing them with the skills to keep themselves safe and making sure that the system itself keeps them safe. The government says ministers have taken a range of measures to tackle online abuse. And there are proposals to increase sentencing from six months to two years. Isabella was just one of many who targeted Caroline. I was terrified. I lost about um, a stone in about a week because I still get you know, abuse on a daily basis. Um, and I often feel that the people who are sending it to me just aren't aware that I'm a human being. Um, and I don't think they'd say it to me if they could see my face and see my reaction. Isabella says she would like to apologise in person, but is now subject to an indefinite restraining order. I don't want to be a bully in my life. I hate bullies. So I'd like to, by doing something like this, create an awareness, going into schools, teaching them, or sure that I'm not the venomous, anger-filled person that those tweets represent. She's hoping to get funding so that other pupils around the country can benefit from the lesson she says she has now learnt.